If I remember, uh, we have done with Crotalus. Crotalus we have completed. Okay. So, and uh, we also started with uh, new uh, uh, snake venom. Okay. Ophidia, and that Ophidia was elapsed. Elapse was discussed partially, okay. So, because your new will have a quick recall of what was already done, and then the remaining part of elapse is what uh, I'll be taking up in next uh, 40 50 minutes, okay. Is that fine? Okay, so yeah, one question that I always ask before I start the class is what is it that you remember in elapse? What is it? In Hindu Tantra. Okay. What is it you remember in elapse? Elapse we discussed uh, under different headings. <clears throat> I told you about uh, the sphere of action. I told you about the snake, the nature of snake. From the nature of snake, how do we understand the mind of uh, elapse is what we discussed in the previous class. So basically, you know, many snakes, they are very timid, okay, they are very timid, you know. So elapse is also one such snake uh, which is uh, very, very timid. Hmm? It comes out only during uh, rainy season, okay, and it's a very shy snake, hmm? okay. So these are few things that I told you under uh, the introduction. We also looked into the classification of uh, snakes and where exactly elapse gets placed. And uh, I told you about the sphere of action. So which are all the areas you see elapse acting? Elapse, first very important thing is it acts on the blood, blood vessels. And it will cause uh, destruction of the uh, blood vessels, sorry, blood cells. And it will cause hemorrhage. Okay. And one peculiar thing in elapse hemorrhage was the hemorrhage which is black. Not even dark, the hemorrhages which are black. And you will also see in the PQRS many discharges in elapse will be black in color. Okay. So one area was blood and then we also saw that this remedy acting on the CNS causing paralysis. Many snakes the neurotoxin of the snake venom, it affects the CNS and it will cause paralysis. Even in elapse, you see paralysis. But there is something very peculiar in elapse paralysis. Now what is it that is peculiar? They get spasms first and then paralysis. Spasms followed by paralysis is peculiar in elapse. Okay. So CNS the mucous membrane of the nose, the mucous membrane of the ear and of course the throat. So these are few areas where you see elapse acting. That was the sphere of action. As a quick recall, see we spoke of ailments from. Uh, if my memory is right, I told you two important ailments. One was insect bite, insect bite and the other one was snake bite. Okay, ailments from bites, basically insect bite and snake bite. Okay, so that was about the ailments, and then this is where we stopped. Meaning, I told you partially the what is this? I mean, this was discussed. I told you about the PQRS. Okay, I mean the characteristic symptoms of elapse. What was characteristic? What was special in elapse? I mean, when you talk of discharges. The discharges in elapse is black. Not only the hemorrhages, even the discharges, otoria, the discharge from the nose, okay, even the wax, though naja is a better remedy for black wax. Naja is a better remedy. So elapse also has uh, black discolor I mean black discharges, offensive discharges, and then we also saw in elapse that you know it's, it's a very good remedy for paralysis. Hmm? And in last class, uh, I had uh, compared different ophidias being indicated in different types of paralysis. So this is where, you know, if I remember, this was the 
Okay. So yeah, you have gone ahead. See, this was the last. Yeah. See, PQRS. A quick revision. We are looking at discharges. Black. Under general it is you have this rubric. Discharges black, and the only remedy mentioned is elapsed. All discharges in elapsed is black. So, and we also saw that the discharges from any of these areas, from the uh, inner intestines, diarrhea, frothy black, hemoptysis black, and you also had nasal discharge, you had menorrhagia, metorrhagia, menstrual discharges which are black. Okay? And we also saw that they are offensive and uh, yeah, tongue black, very important. Tongue, typically black. Many ophidias, they have this uh, black tongue. Elapse is also a remedy and uh, our materia offers many more remedies for uh, tongue which is black. Carbovate, China, Marc, Phosphorus and uh, not only tongue, even the tonsils can have a blackish discoloration or it can have a purplish discoloration elapse okay yeah black I mean this is what the comparison we have made I have done all this so I will not repeat it if you saw the hemorrhages you saw hemorrhages black you have elapse one of the you know remedy which is very uh, important okay yeah, these are all other areas where you have black hemorrhages. We have discussed. I also told you about side. Though it can uh, affect either sides, you see paralysis in elapse is mainly on the right hand side. Right hand side. Okay. Both the sides because you also have left sided headaches and throat affections. But paralysis in elapse is predominantly on the right hand side. Right sided hemiplegia. You can think of lapse. Okay. Yeah, see, this is uh, the slide where I have stopped. Or, uh, you know, we discussed, I'll, I'll again go fast because we have uh, the remaining part of elapse to cover. I mean, yeah, this, this is a small comparison of uh, different ophidias getting indicated in uh, paralysis. Okay, almost you see different uh, snakes images, and many snakes are uh, great paralyzers. Okay, and one beautiful remedy you need to remember here is uh, naja, and the specialty in naja is only when the sphincters they go into paralysis. Okay, inner sphincter, urethral sphincter, any sphincter when they go into paralysis. The only remedy we have here is Naja. Okay? So we'll go ahead. Uh, yeah, this is what I wanted. I mean, yeah, this is where we stop. Now we'll look into the further uh, part of elapse. So we'll be looking at the characteristic symptoms. We'll continue with the characteristic symptoms. When you look at the desires, elapse are something very special. Okay? What is special in elapsed desires is that they love buttermilk. Okay? Buttermilk. Yeah, and I'll come to what Venkat is trying to tell us. So, buttermilk, desires buttermilk. Not only elapsed, you have a few more remedies in your repertory. Pulsatilla, Sabadilla, Talapsi, Barsa. And few more uh, small remedies are mentioned in your repertory for Desires buttermilk and uh, elapse tops the list. Two homeopathic remedies which has aversion to buttermilk, one is Sina and the other one is Antim Crude. Hmm? Okay? And aversions are very important. Duh? Now, a beautiful thing mentioned under uh, elapse is desires for Sweetened buttermilk. Now in our local language, especially in India, we call this as lassi. Okay? Children, patients who love lassi. It can be an entry point. The only remedy mentioned in our Materia Medica is elapse. 
people having desires for lassi okay sweet and buttermilk see not only uh, buttermilk lassi you also see that elaps love they enjoy yogurt desires yogurt okay fine uh locally many times for curds we take this aversion curds the closest thing that comes up is yogurt okay and one remedy you should remember which i have used in my practice and i have found beautiful results is netum self netum self aversion curds or aversion yogurt netum self only remedy mentioned okay so when somebody comes to a clinic and uh, they tell sir i can't uh, bear this smell i can't eat it curd in any form i can't eat it and in few we have also seen after netum self they started uh, you know uh, eating that is also possible hmm? or as a constitution many of the symptoms they have reduced i have given in migraine when the totality of netum self is there and they also have strong aversion for curds you can think of uh, netum self okay so desires yogurt the other uh, remedies kasmasin you also have hemamelis netum cap and symphytum hmm? repertories new repertories might give you many more remedies but uh, these are all the uh, you know remedies taken from the old repertories okay they would have added few more so i am talking to you about the desires and there are few more desires and another very important desire they have is orange desire orange okay other remedies medallion. very good medallion good only medallion you yeah, have another uh, i expected uh, this remedy but luckily you told medallion another remedy is uh, spider teridium See why is spider? Uh, what is the common name of theridion? Orange. Yeah. Why did it get the name orange spider? Because it is found more on those uh, trees. Okay, habitat. Hmm? So theridion, they love oranges. Medorinum. Medorinum not necessarily oranges. Anything which is sour and sweet. A combination of sour and sweet. is what medornum likes and again if you are looking at india if you are looking at atlas what is it pani puri fine right? pani puri you have a combination of uh, sour and a combination of sweet mita and katta so that is what medornum love okay so that can be an entry point for you in medornum podophyllum hemamelis and of course uh, symphytum these are few remedies which has desires desire for oranges not only oranges many times i have told you what i have learned from my sir is ophidia which almost looks like phosphorus remember a ophidia which almost looks like phosphorus is elaps very friendly okay very playful very mischievous then desires uh, ice creams desires cold thing you can think of elaps hmm? okay then we'll go ahead so desires ice cream see many times in our clinic uh, ophidia and phosphorus they come very close you would have given by mistake ophidia and in the next follow up phos will be uh, running very close okay and you can make the necessary change and they improve very well ophidia and phos they come very close hmm why why because the venom snake venom has good amount of phosphorus okay that that fine right? so desires ice cream we have few more remedies and it's also a remedy which has desires for salads salad okay so desire salad uh, yogurt lassi 
butter milk and of course uh, oranges and ice creams these are all the desires two strong aversions elapse has any uh, inputs what are all the aversions elapse has one strong aversion is banana good banana now why banana becomes very important is the old repertories gives only three remedies under aversion to banana and one top remedy is elapse so now the question you know what is the question that is coming up next so which are the other two remedies okay aversion banana hmm, very good who is it good sulfur baratha baratha good see baratha not necessary banana any fruit you getting my point baratha those specifically it is mentioned under aversion sorry baratha is mentioned under aversion to bananas you also have to remember not only banana any fruit baratha will not like okay there are many remedies one more top remedy you have to remember is ignisha aversion fruits aversion fruits okay so the next component we are looking at is the aversions of elapse one is banana and the second very important thing you also have is they have aversion to meat aversion to meat okay now going ahead we have two or three more characteristic symptoms and then we look at the mind of uh, elapse pain in stomach better lying on abdomen hmm? pain in stomach better lying on abdomen it is little different from macfos how is it different macfos has pain abdomen okay here in elapse the situation is pain in stomach and this pain in stomach is better lying on abdomen there are few remedies which has this acetic acid belladonna bromium and magnesium mur four more remedies mentioned in your books are this okay so pain stomach better lying on abdomen okay now another very important symptom is uh, related to headache headache like lacessis it starts in the left side and it goes to the right side hmm? left forehead going to the right occiput extends from left to right from forehead to occiput headache extends from forehead to occiput hmm? okay and one last symptom here picurus is anything any fruit or any cold drinks when they consume they feel like ice in stomach hmm? this is also characteristic in uh, in elapse in elapse okay so from what you learnt in the previous class i have added few more i have added the desires the aversions the pain in stomach better by lying on abdomen and then we also spoke of uh, two more things one is headache and the other one is any fruit or any cold thing they take they feel as if it is feels like ice in stomach this is a sensation what you have specifically in elapse okay all clear newcomers anything any clarification okay so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll look at a very important part the important part is the mind of elapse now elapse is a very lesser used ophelia okay and many times the reason why it is lesser used is because because we are not aware of the remedy so at least through classes through learnings when you know it is there you can start applying it in your practice so we'll try to understand in next few minutes what is elapse mind like okay few minutes back i gave you a small clue elapse is almost like phosphorus okay so keep that clue in your, in your mind and you know we'll slowly explore what exactly you have in elapse okay now what is elapse what is elapse 
What is elapse? Elapse is a snake. Elapse is a ophidia. So when you look at the mind, this being an ophidia, what is the first point that comes to our mind? It will have many symptoms related to ophidia. Is it confusing? See, as a generality, as a generality, as a mental general, you see many ophidia symptoms also present in elapse. Okay. Now the question is, what are all the common mind symptoms of ophidias? Okay, they are very timid, good. They are suspicious, agreed. There is jealousy, beautiful, good. Huh? What is it? There is loquacity. They tend to talk too much. You all know. You all know the typical uh, ophidia loquacity. They keep talking, they keep jumping from one topic to another topic. And they are very fast and they're very fast, okay? They're very quick. You need to be focused to understand. Many times in clinic, if you have a Baraita physician, okay, and you have an Ophidia lady talking, you'll have a lot of difficulty, right? Ophidia would have thought Baraita has understood and she'll be going ahead. And Baraita will have a lot of problems. He'll be still understanding the first line what Baraita spoke. I mean, what the Ophidia spoke and Ophidia will be already in 16th line. So 15 lines they would have missed. Lot of information gone. So Ophidias are very quick, they are very fast and you know they are very loquacious, talkative. Hmm? Okay. So loquacity, suspiciousness, jealousy. Hmm? Anything else? Huh? Intelligent. Intelligent. They are very quick. Okay. So what you need to understand here is like many Ophidias, you have some common characters, common mentors. One is the suspicious, okay? And there is uh, loquacity, there is jealousy, okay? And then they are very, very manipulative, very deceitful. You know snake, it can make way, somehow it can make way, fine? Right? So, uh, Ophidias, you know, Ophidia constitutions, they are very deceitful, they are very manipulative, okay? These are all the basic things and Ophidias are very haughty, very egoistic, they are very egoistic, okay? And Ophidias will have a lot of delusions. Hmm? What are the common delusions Ophidias has? What are the commonest delusions? Which you also have in elapse. At least two main delusions elapse has is one that they will get some injury. Delusion injury will receive, which is also there in lacases. And another another very important delusion you have is delusion is hearing voices. Here he is use, hearing human voices. He is hearing human voices is another delusion you have in you have in uh, uh, elapse. Okay. And another very important thing we forgot to mention here is fear of snakes. Many Ophidias, they have fear of snakes. You also have this in uh, elapse. Okay. So, before giving the mind symptoms of elapse, I am just giving you the mind symptoms of elapse which is common to all Ophidias. Okay. Now we look at the other symptoms, like somebody rightly said, uh, many Ophidias can be timid, they are very shy, they are very timid, okay? That is possible and uh, they are also playful, playful, but I will just share a small case here and uh, we will go ahead. We had a case very recently of a very small girl who had almost 103 or 103.2 fever, high fever. And you know, when you are looking at a case with high fever, what is it that we look at? What do we look at? Aphorism number 153. We we'll look at something which is very peculiar. Okay? Now what was very peculiar in this girl was, you know, uh, she was playing uh, hide and seek with her dad in the clinic. Okay? She was hiding somewhere and she was asking dad to, uh, you know, a finder and the father 
also confirms, you know, sir, at home also, uh, we'll never know that she's got fever. She's very playful. So kids who are very playful during fever, okay? And playful, I will again put it in a very simple and specific, specific way, when they want to play hide and seek, okay, the remedy is elapse. First time in my life, I prescribed elapse for a case of fever in this girl and the girl beautifully improves, okay? Hmm? So hide and seek, playful during illness, playful during fever, one remedy you can think of is elapse. <coughs> so hiding in corner, children hiding in corner, you have rubric in a repertory and you have some four remedies, Hyos, Bell, Elapse and one more remedy mentioned. Okay? So hiding in corner and uh, Elapse has good amount of fear. Hmm? If you just look at the upper part, the Sora, they are very timid. In psychosis, you see a lot of fear, lot of fear. Okay? So what is it that they are afraid of? One I already gave you, they are afraid of yes. snakes. Good. They are afraid of snakes, not only snakes, you also see that elapse has fear of rain. Okay? Okay? But, but, they enjoy rain. They enjoy rain. And I also told you, elapse, they come out during uh, rainy season. Fine? Right? So, though there is some amount of fear, they are the people who also enjoy rain. Hmm? Okay? So they enjoy rain and, uh, sorry, they have fear of rain and anxiety about rain. You have a rubric in your repertory. Anxiety about rain, fear of rain. Okay? And this we already saw, fear of snakes. Okay? And uh, what is this? Fear of being alone. Fear of being alone. Okay? Now, why do they have fear of being alone in elapse? See, they have fear of being alone because they feel as if something horrible will happen. Hmm? If they are alone, they feel something horrible will happen. That is why they require company. If they are in company, they are fine. Okay? When they are alone, they feel something horrible will happen. And so they need company. Hmm? Okay. And one more very important fear they have is fear of robbers. Though it is more prominent in natural mirror. How prominent is it in natural mirror? Huh? They wake up, they search for robbers, they search if robbers are under the cot. And only then they are assured they go back to sleep. Okay very strong in natural mirror. Hmm? Fear of robbers. Okay? See, and uh, elapse is also a constitution. Who enjoy? Travelling. They love travelling. Other remedies? Phosphorus, tuberculinum, carcinosin, medorinum. Why medorinum likes travelling? Medorinum, see, medorinum basically wants freedom. Hmm? Okay. Medorinum wants uh, adventure. They love adventure. Okay. Medorinum. Tuberculinum. Carcinosin is mainly for nature. When carcinosin is travelling, he will travel to those places which has, uh, uh, you know, a lot of greenery, uh, all those things. Fine. Netron will like more of beaches. Fine. Okay. Where they can... Uh, now we all beaches are crowded. Uh, post COVID, it's a different scenario. But what you need to understand is, Netron likes that solitude. Okay? And why Netron likes that solitude and why Netron likes that, uh, uh, you know, beach kind of a thing is, they generally, what is the beauty of Netron? I don't know if it is beauty or a negative thing. They like brooding. Okay? So you see them sitting in a silent place and they start recalling how beautiful their life was with that man or with that boy you know they recreate all those things and they enjoy they live 
in those uh, old uh, memories. That is natural. Okay? Uh, Medurnum, as I was just trying to tell you, Medurnum will have a lot of energy and they like adventure. Uh, bungee jumping or you know what is it, they go under the sea. Scuba diving. I mean, tarantula. Fine. All uh, remedies which have a lot of energy, they want to explore under the sea. Fine. Or you know, they want to do all these things. Okay. Done? Yesterday we had a case, uh, I don't know who was there with me yesterday. Yeah, if I'm right, yeah. Uh, okay, I mean, uh, there was a parent who was telling about uh, his son. I don't know who was there. Okay, uh, you know, when the car is moving, all kids will run away, it seems. This boy will stand like this. He's uh, five years? Six. Five, six years old boy, he will stand. Burrow, he'll take this stone, burrow, fine. And not only that, mother was telling he will uh, hold the live wire, current wire, no? You go and you will see what will happen. And uh, father was telling, you now it is summer in India and you know, a uh, lot of summer camps. Father was telling this boy will jump into seven feet uh, swimming pool. I said, good, what is some, sir, he does not know swimming, sir. <laughs> Good, no, that's what I was saying. I thought. Then father told, no, no, he corrected me. Sir, he does not know swimming. Now what is this? Don't take this as uh, a proud thing. Luckily, parents had some sense. They realize what my son is doing is wrong. Then, so this is audacity. First thing that should come to your mind is not courage. Before courage, you should get a thought. It is foolishness. He has got absolutely no fear. Fearless, jumps into a pool. Hey, Appa, you come this side. Come this side, I'll jump. Father is holding bus, don't jump. Okay? Fine, he'll uh, hold the wire and says, ah, we'll see what will happen. How old is he? Six years. Fine? So after your medicine, what should happen is, what should happen is, fear should start coming in. And it is possible with homeopathic medicines. We have seen many cases, Kids like this, you know, over a period of time, after our treatment, you know, they start improving. Next time this guy will not keep his hand in a live wire or he will not stand in front of a car, come hit me. Fine? You can do that. Fine? Because fear is something, fear for life. In all the three situations, we will lose him. Fine? If uh, the car driver is uh, an egoistic guy, okay. He is also a senseless guy. Fine, he might just hit him. Or uh, jumping into uh, a deep uh, swimming pool can be dangerous. You are getting my point. So, loves traveling, different remedies for different reasons. Done? And uh, sadness. Elapse has good amount of sadness. Hmm? Sadness which mainly comes up during wet weather. Hmm? Sadness coming up during wet weather. Sadness during clear weather. Only remedy we have is stramonium. I know you will tell causticum. Causticum is a general thing and uh, we are focusing on a specific thing and the specific thing is sadness. Sadness, aggravation, clear weather, stramonium. Sadness, aggravation, wet weather is elapse. Okay? Solitude, depression with desire for solitude. And uh, the last part related to the mind, what you also have here is, there is a lot of anger. The only Ophelia which has anger and anger on himself. Okay? Anger on himself. How could I do this? Anger on himself. Okay? Then, so, only Ophelia having anger on himself, irritability on himself, and uh, Ophelia who in anger can bite himself. Biting himself. Hmm? You have it in elapse. Biting himself. Okay? So, the last part of elapse, 
Now before I take up the modalities, a quick recall of what we did. We spoke of a few characteristic symptoms and uh, as a PG scholar, it is your duty to apply those PQRS into the particular part. For example, when you look at ears, what is it that will come up in ears? You will have uh, discharges, otoria and the otoria which is black or offensive. Similarly, you can talk of uh, rhinorrhea. More than rhinorrhea, you can also talk of ozina, crust, blackish crust getting formed in the nose. Mouth, there can be gum bleeding, fine. Uh, tongue, black, black. black discoloration of tongue, and uh, throat, tonsils, and yeah, there is one more very important thing, paralysis. Paralysis of the esophageal muscles. In stomach, what do you see? You can see pain, you can write desires, you can write aversions, gastric ulcers, and lower down in the abdomen, what do you see? You mainly see diarrhea, which is blackish, frothy, offensive. When this is how you start building up. In the extremities, what do you see? Mainly paralysis. Hemiplegia, right side. What comes first? Spasms followed by paralysis. Okay. This is how you build a material medica based on the PQRS. Okay. Last part will be modalities. Modalities. Okay. Now what is it that you see here is taken from Fatax, approach of storm, cold drinks, cold food, cold air, dampness, night, touch, warmth of bed, bed fruits and in room. These are all the aggravating factors. And what ameliorates is rest. Walking ameliorates two very important things. Nosebleed, pain in abdomen and pain in chest. Hmm? Pain in abdomen, better by walking. Okay, nosebleed and chest, uh, pain in chest, better by walking. Is what you have in, what you have in elapse. Okay. One last and small exercise, in case if you want to make a note. You can make a note or I, I gave you the source taken from Fatex Material America. Okay, one last uh, important uh, activity will be the clinical application of elapse. Having told you about elapse, where do you see elapse getting indicated in our clinic? That's very important. So, what conditions can you think of? Okay, there, it can be indicated in hemorrhages, paralysis, yes, good. DUBs, menorrhagia, metorrhagia. The only condition is it should be black. Okay, good. Then it can be given in wax, it can be given in notoria. Go from above down. Okay, it can be given in ozina, bad breath, bleeding gums, paralysis of uh, esophagus, then tonsillitis, okay, in the ulcers, gastritis, diarrhea, okay, fine. Septicemia, good, septic condition, septicemia. This is a remedy acting on blood. It can cause blood poisoning. It can cause destruction, okay. So these are few things that you have already told me. It is all there. Uh, you can add dysmenorrhea. We forgot lungs, hemoptysis, okay, uh, pneumonia, tysis, okay. You also forgot uh, headaches and uh, yeah, uh, amyrosis. What is this? Yeah, it's something to do with eyes, vision, loss of vision. Partial or complete loss of vision because of issues with optic nerve, brain or the spinal cord. Hmm? Okay. So these are, yeah, insect bites you told me, snake bites, injuries, gangrene, boils, carbuncle. These are few conditions where you can think of uh, elapse. Okay. Hmm? Hope you got a picture of elapse and uh, Another very important thing, uh, what I have learned from my sir is uh, swelling under eyes. Swelling under eyes. It is what my sir, he has seen practically and he has contributed from his side. Uh, anophidia having swelling under eyes can be elapse. Can be elapse. Okay. So hope you got a 
image, you got a picture of uh, elapsed and uh, you know, as and when you get such cases, you can start using so that a lesser known remedy becomes a better known remedy. Hmm? Because of our ignorance, we don't use few remedies so often. But it is one remedy among many remedies which need to be used more often. Hmm? Okay. All fine? Yes. Any quick questions? Done? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Elapse has fear of pain, mm -hmm. but they enjoy. Yes. So what what actually? What about rain do they feel? What about rain they do feel? Okay. See now, you know, I mean, uh, there are two things given. That uh, they have fear of rain, one. And there is also anxiety about rain. But one material America, it is also told that these people are people who also enjoy going out under uh, rain or playing under rain. So my only thing here is, for example, tomorrow somebody is playing under in rain, should not stop you from prescribing elapse. You have both. Both polarity you have. Fine. Similarly, if you look at uh, the desires and aversions, oranges, elapse is mentioned both under desires and aversions. Okay. There are few things like that. Hmm? That? And if you look into the uh, snake nature, it is a creature which generally enjoys rain and it comes out in rain. In proving it is... Uh, Opposite. They are talking about fear. Okay, and one more, I referred few more books because very few authors have written about elapse. You don't get much information. So one more author says, you know, they also, though there is fear of rain, they enjoy rain. It could be this statement also, there is a fear, but though there is a fear, they also enjoy it. Must be that initial fear, and once they go, they are fine. Okay, they enjoy rain. Hmm? Then? Okay. So here also fear and desire company. Mm -hmm. What difference between someone See, uh, why they have fear in sorry, why they have desire for company in elapse? They feel something will happen. Okay. There is fear of being alone. And also they have a feeling that you know if I am alone, that something horrible will happen. So it's more of an emotional thing that somebody is with me, they feel secure. Okay. It comes more uh, close to arsenic. Arsenic has this, you know, especially but in arsenic, the fear is more to do with disease. The anxiety is more to do with health. And arsenic has a feeling, if somebody is there with me, if somebody goes on with me, he will at least take me to hospital. That is the kind of uh, confidence what arsenic will have. But in arsenic it is very specific, it is more about health. Here it is not very clear, something horrible might happen. Something might happen, so I need somebody with me. Is a thought what he has. In stramonium, it is more of a panic. Okay. So the intensity is more and more higher. And stramonium, you know, uh, the desire for a company in stramonium is they cling. Right? This is something which is higher than arsenic and than elapse. They are not leave, let let go of you. They are holding you, they are clinging you. That is more of stamina. Even for a second, mother can't go even for washroom. You know, child clings to the mother. That is uh, very characteristic in stamina. That you don't see in arsenic and that you don't see in uh, elapse. But that clinging, okay, wanting company to the extent of clinging, out of fear, out of panic is stamina. Hmm? Okay, anything else? Chalo. Thank you. Thanks.